numerology, you know, people say, oh, what's sign or whatever. I, I picked up this thing called uh, numerology. It's simple, simple, simple. But there's like a, in numerology, you have, you know, you have your, your odd numbers and the even numbers. And your odd numbers are like male energy. You know? And the even numbers, the even numbers are female energy. Now, that might mean anything about it, but that's just the way it is. Yeah. So that means like, you know, the, 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 the century, the, the centuries that begin with a one, it's all male centuries. Now, we're in this, you know, 2000s, so that's like female energy, you see? Now, I got this theory, because so much stuff has happened in the world that, uh, you know, I think that the men, you know, don't want to give up the power. You know, you know what I'm saying? And and then, you know, and then, then you, of course, you're supposed to, but women are doing stuff too. Well, you know, and then they, they probably, you know, see the, like, oh, hey, I want to do what the men used to do for 2,000 years. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's not what I want, I want to get to. See, here's the thing. I met a lot of people in my life. I usually end up in places like black people don't end up in. In some places I go to, Americans don't end up in either. And certainly not black Americans. You know? And uh, when I get out of school, I used to have this thing where I would go to like lectures and, and, and audit classes, you know. I particularly like anthropology. I'm surprised I'm not doing anthropology now, but I just like that. I don't know why. But you know, I met, I met and shook hands with Dr. Richard Leakey, you know, the, the guy that found him. Paleontology, whatever that those two men that digging in the earth and found that the you know that the you know man started in Africa and all that stuff, the first guy, you know, the Lucy guy, whatever the, uh, anyway. But you know another person that I, that I met when I was uh, and this is important. This is important. This I was at with oh, I, I was hanging out with this sister at Drew University in a uh, you know rich part of New Jersey, you know. And uh, at that time, this is the 70s, there wasn't a whole lot of black people <laughs> at Drew University. But one of the cats that came by to, you know, have lectures, all the you know, most guest speakers, was Moshe Diane. Well, Moshe Diane, you know, the, the Israeli guy, the general with the, with the patch and stuff like that. And, and, and I shook his hand, you know. I looked, I looked into his eye, you know, and he looked into my eye, but there was a connection there. You say, well, what do you have to do with this, <coughs> with this Israeli general? Well, I don't know. We just had a connection. And then he said to me, he said, I respected, you know, Dr. Ralph Bunch. Now, luckily, I knew who Dr. Ralph Bunch was. He was like the first black guy to win the Nobel Peace Prize for the whole broken between the Palestinian and the Israeli back then in the, I don't know, 50s, 40s, whatever it was, you know. I guess it's the 50s because they just had the country in the 40s. And then I got to thinking here, you know, you see, there's this movie, I know I'm jumping around, but I got to tell you this. This is sort of swift in my mind. There's this movie, uh, 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 Oceans 13, where they have this thing, where there's some sort of honor thing. You know, if you shook Frank Sinatra's hand, then you had a certain principle and honor code. You couldn't violate this for the rest of your life. And the, one of these guys didn't, well, whatever. No. What I'm trying to say, you know, uh, is that I shook Moshe Diane's hand. And he mentioned Dr. Ralph Bunch. And I'm thinking all this stuff that's happening in the world with all these people blowing people up and blah, 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 and all the rest of stuff. These people, they they obviously ain't been to war. They ain't talked to nobody that's been to war. They ain't shook nobody's hand that's been a real warrior. And they up there bowing stuff and trying to kill people. I'm sure that Dr. Ralph Bunch and Moshe Diane, who knew each other and respected each other, wouldn't have all this nonsense that's happening now. So I'm, I'm, you know, look, I'm just an audio dramatist who's been around a little bit, you know, talking, shaking hands with people and stuff like that that you usually don't shake hands with, you know, going places you usually don't go. So I mean, but every place I went, they let me hang out. And I don't understand why in this day and age, People just can't hang out with each other, mm -hmm. you know, kiss each other on the cheek, you know, and, just, and have a good time. But, you know, that's, that's you know, I, well, uh, this is just one of those dispatches from the arts director emeritus. Uh, that would be me, T. Mm -hmm. Felder Patterson's taking the trains to bed, letting you know 
but I only suspect. Mm.